another person in the studio to make Sam Mitchell's hair look not as good. A guy who's got great style. Oh, my goodness. Robert Covington of the Philadelphia 76ers, part of the well, how Play do you see basketball playoff. Playoff winners of eight in a row. You guys are going. I mean, listen, we spoke on Game Time a couple of nights ago. I see there's like a sense of relief with you guys, right? Like there's a, a, a just a good feeling around your squad now, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the vibe of our team has been amazing. You know, the way it's transformed to where it is now. You know, we have so many different guys in that locker room, so many different personalities. Like, it's crazy how we gel so fast. But, but be honest, every time Embiid hits the floor like he did the other night, there's a big... <gasps> absolutely. Absolutely. But, I mean, Joe puts his body on the line a lot of times, so it's, it's just a part of his demeanor. And, you know, he wants to make the extra play, so that's the type of player he is. But, you know, he, yesterday kind of, you know, gave everybody a, a bigger scare. Tell me something. The way y'all welcome Mark Harrell for back into the lineup and... Talk about some of the things that he can bring to this team that y'all been missing, especially him coming off the bench, being the number one pick, getting acclimated to this team that y'all have. How can he help you guys come playoff time? He's going to add more depth to our unit. You know, that second unit is is very, very unique. We have TJ at first, you know, but Markel brings a lot more athleticism. And, you know, TJ and him, they're both playing together. So you got two guards that can really, you know, give pests towards, you know, both our other guards that they play. So, you know, TJ, he's them, they, going to be amazing. In addition to Markel, man, he's, he's still haven't touched his peak yet. He's well, you see him all the time. So explain us the things that Markel can do because we saw him in college a little bit, but you've been around him the whole year. He's been working. But you see the real Markel folks, the Absolutely. things that he can do that make you go, okay, I see why he was the number one pick. Yeah, no, Markel has been putting so much work in, you know, behind. He doesn't display everything, but, you know, the past, the months he's been out, like, he's been in the gym constant. Constant, constant, he's working on his jump shot, you know, doing little things. You know, he don't want everybody to know what's going on. When media comes, he's gone because he don't want people to see. But now he's starting to get more comfortable, and it shows. You know, his first game back, he had 10, 8, and 4. Yeah, yeah. he did. So, you know, that that's going to add more depth to our bench, and, you know, he's a great addition. And, like, we, wel we welcome to have him back. You can't just be having you shooting threes out there, which you've been doing at a tremendous rate. Now, listen, we, we know that you guys pride yourself in defense, and that's a big part of your game, and you're playing a lot of great defense. But another part of this Sixer team that I don't know if people realize is how much you guys pass the ball. And I'm not talking about assists. Like, there, there is no team in basketball who's just passing the ball as much as you guys do. Is that, is that something that you consciously talk about, the, the amount of times? You, you move the ball like more than 1,000 times than some other NBA teams have this year. Yeah, we're big on that. Um, you know, our coach always talk about good to great, um, getting a good shot for a greater shot. You know, you can pass up a good shot to the person that's, you know, you got two guys closing on you different ways, and it might be a guy next to you that's wide open that ain't nobody five, six feet away. That, that probably cost you a few threes, though, this year then, right? Man, as long as we <laughs> score. You're in the playoffs. Yeah, as long as we score, that's the main thing that matters. You know, about our team, you know, we're so unselfish, and we want to make the right play and the best play. This is uh, time for greatness in the making presented by Subway. We take a look at, at Philadelphia. You mentioned the, the passing which leads to all of those assists and, and you guys have uh, proved that uh, sharing is caring and it equals winning. Uh, 18 and 4 when you get more than 30 assists. But let's let's get into that defense. Uh, one of the cool uh, advanced stats we have is deflections. Second in the league, Robert Covington this year in, in deflections. Uh, last year they said I was first. This year, you know, Second, you had a, a little slight drop off, but you know it's I just about making so many different plays, being in the right passing lane, and you know making plays for the team. That's what you know as a unit we're capable of. Is we got so much athleticism, so much length that you know it's not just me out there. You got Ben, you got JoJo, you got Dario, other guys that you know have so much length that you know we're a deadly team. You know, and it's not just about what we do on defense. It's so much other things that we do as a unit. Well, you guys are a playoff team, and, and all the talk has been. They're young, they're inexperienced for the playoffs. We don't know how they're going to react. But I believe that because y'all are young, y'all can make a long run because you don't know what you don't know. What's y'all mindset getting ready for the playoffs? What are you guys talking about? Not what the coach is saying, but what are you guys talking about on the bus, on the back of the plane? Because you guys are a playoff team, and right now you're sitting at that fourth spot with home court advantage. Yeah, we just talk about, you know, the ways that it's going to allow us to win. You know, we have a couple guys that have playoff experience, J.J., you know, Jerry has some, Amir, all them different guys that, you know, Marco won one. So we were just talking about this yesterday after the game that in order for us to, you know, really be contentious about that, we have to really go out and, you know, finish these games strong because, you know, not a lot of teams are, are built like us. You know, we're young, fast, you know, a unique team that can do a lot. So, yeah, it's still a couple of weeks to go here in the season and, and, you know, with these home games that you guys have dominated. 
How different is the atmosphere in the gym these days than a couple of years ago? Oh, you have absolutely no idea. Even though, you know, in my previous years have been rocky, you know, the fan base behind us was still there. You know, we still had the support. But now that we're winning and, you know, we're in playoff contingents, like, it's like it, it's nowhere that I've ever experienced before. You know, I've, I've been a part of, the, you know, a couple of teams that, you know, have been and to have that type of atmosphere, but nothing like Philly. All right, I'm going to put him on the spot. How far are you guys going to go in the playoffs? Because you guys young, you got to have confidence in yourself. And you know what? Whatever you say, you guys are the only ones that can make it come true. How far can you guys go in the hey, playoffs? As long as we keep doing what we're doing, you know, the way we've been going, this, this eight-game stretch of how we've been playing, the sky's the limit with us. You know, we can, all, we can get all the these kind of finals we want. You know, it's just a matter of us playing the way we've been playing and, you know, not getting outside of ourselves. What made really allowed us to, you know, really be successful is the way we've been playing, and we keep playing the way we're doing now. On the down, finish that down stretch, man, endless possibilities. Away from your team for a second, some news broke earlier today. Yahoo Sports reporting that a uh, player by the name of uh, Darius Baisley, who's, who's a high school senior right now, is committed to go to Syracuse, has decommitted from his college commitment, and is going to go the route of the G League. He's going to enter the draft and sign a, a G League contract and. You had some success in the G League. What, what do you think this means for, for players around the country who maybe don't want to, for whatever reason, want to go to college and, and instead of going to Europe or China are looking at, at the G League as an option to get to the league? I mean, it could be an opportunity based off of, you know, where you're going, but it also can be a downfall because, you know, that, that one year of college you know, can also be something that's very soon because you actually build, you know, habits of where, you know, certain workouts, you know, you get a schedule sense of what you're going to do. In that case, you know, time management, a lot of them things that you can can't, you learn in college, you know, it's something that you need. But, you know, going that route, it's just going to continue to, you know, your life, your lifestyle could be kind of erratic. But, you know, that going to college and, you know, having that one year under your belt, it helps you get, you know, like I said, time management skills, you know, work ethic, like all that stuff, it, it really ties apart in it. You know, it, that's something that, you know, can really be impactful for NCAA. Robert, I, I want to finish up by asking you how well you know one of your teammates. Uh, you guys have just flown in here to Atlanta to get ready to play the Hawks tomorrow. Do you think there's a better chance that, that Ben Simmons is in his hotel room watching this program or that he's playing a video game talking trash <laughs> to somebody around the league? <laughs> I actually just was with Ben. Um, he's actually waiting uh, at the hotel right now. I'm not sure if he's playing a game or not, but, you know, he Listen, said... Listen, Carl Anthony Towns got 56, 56, right, after playing video games with Ben up all night, right, a couple of nights ago. <laughs> hey, if, if Ben capable of that same thing, then go for it. I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need all we can get because, like, Ben, ben does so much for us. You know, if, if that's what's going to take for him to, to, you know, really stand out that way, then go, all means, go ahead. Is he the best at video games on your team? No. Nah. Who's the best? JoJo. Oh. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be good at, you great at everything. JoJo. You gotta, you gotta think. He had two years of That's a good point. Oh, yeah, he had a lot of That's practice. A good point. He had a lot of practice. So, you know, everybody's pretty much plays FIFA, Madden, you know, 2K, you name right. it, he does it. Video games, you, you're a big video game. Yeah, right. The last video <laughs> game I played was Pac-Man? Atari. Okay? Tetris. They, don't even, Tetris. they don't even make it anymore. I don't even know if these kids even know what that is. <laughs>